high places. They're coming down. Oh, they're coming down. I say they're coming down. Glory to God. They're coming down. They're coming down. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. They're coming down. They're coming down. They're coming down. Father, in the name of your son, thank you for bringing down the high places, giving us access to the purpose of which you have chosen us to serve. Bring them down, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, our Savior, trust in your Lord God to bring it to pass. Thank you for moving the obstacles, hindrances, confusions, sicknesses, finances, whatever, Lord. Move it out of the way. Move it out of the way, Lord. We're looking to you, Lord. We're trusting you. We're believing, oh God, that you love us and you brought us so that you can take us to places that we have not been. We can see things of which we have not seen. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, for giving us insight. Giving us, Lord, God, understanding how to walk with you, how to serve you, how to bring glory to you. Thank you for doing it, Lord. Thank you for making us better. Thank you for blessing us to be better every day of our lives. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for the word that's washing us, preparing us for greater service. Thank you for doing it, Lord. Thank you for doing it. We lift up our hearts. We lift up our hands, our hearts and our souls and our minds. We belong to you, Lord. We are all yours. Bought with a price. Thank you, my Savior. Help us to serve you in a way that you can continue to bless and take us to all things. You have purpose and you have promise to every one of your children. Thank you for it, Lord. And I pray in your name that every soul in this house who are not Holy Ghost filled, that you fill them. Fill them, Lord. Let them now repent of their sins so you can fill them. Help them to see their need for you. Help them to fully repent. Fully repent. And be filled in the name of Jesus Christ. And so be it to the glory of God. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank God for Jesus Christ. Thank God for the move of the Holy Ghost. And Thank God for Jesus in this house. Oh, yes, he's about to do something. Oh, he's already done something. Yes, Lord, he is a good God. I said he's a good God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm expecting the Lord to get us where he is as purpose and even before the foundation of the world he purposed a spot and a place for every one of us and nothing can hinder that if we can believe God Faith is what brings pleasure to God. When we trust the Lord, my purpose and my plans can't be stopped. I'm taking you there. I'm taking you there. And everything that I have purposed for your life is going to be fulfilled. I love you too much for it not to come to pass. He's a gracious God. I want to talk to you today about all things. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell a book, but I want to say to you that if you read that book, God's going to motivate you and push you. He's going to help you to move forward. Read it as if God's word is being backed up by experience explanation of scripture and listen to what it said behind what God promised you and see won't the Lord keep us moving yes sir you keep us moving forward from the gospel of Matthews the 21st chapter and verses 19 and through 22 it says and when he saw the fig tree in the way he came to it and he found nothing thereon but leaves only and said unto it let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever and presently the fig tree withered away. Presently. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith yes. and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, yes, sir. That's it. be thou removed yes. and be cast into the sea. And it shall be done. In all these things, whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. God has spoken. Let his people say amen. amen. Which is saying, I agree with you, Lord. I believe what you say. I go with you, Lord. I acknowledge you have spoken. Your word has gone out of your mouth. And it will not return void. This faith, the kind of faith, however, will only ask the things that it knows God's will for you will do. And I know God's will for us is the rise to the climax of his purpose and his calling. Nothing can stop it. Regardless of what happened to you, all things work together for the good. For them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Nothing can stop what I have purposed for your life. But I want somebody to believe me. I want you to trust me. I want you to hear what I say. And let me perform this. There's a process going on, of course, to discourage us and make us think that such a thing can't happen to me. But God loves you too much. He's going to bring it to pass. I said he's going to bring it to pass. God's going to let you see some stuff. He's going to bless you to go that way. But we got to believe God. We must believe God. Set it in your heart. Set it in your mind. God wants your body healed. He wants your mind healed. He wants your blessed coming and going. He wants you to feel blessed. <laughs> Not down and out and sick. He wants you to feel like you have a God who is alive and well. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of your difficulties. Even in the midst of all your frustration. God is going to bring it to pass. We're going to see you shouting down the road. Not just in the church, but in the street sometime. You're going to be shouting and praising God. Oh, God. God promised to save your children. Hallelujah. Don't give up on them just because they are not there yet. But just keep on believing God. He's a battle like in the time of a battle. I said he can deliver. I said he will deliver. Hallelujah. You can't live right and not be blessed. You can't live for God and he will not come through for you. It's getting better all the time. He's pushing you forward. He's moving you towards your old things. And your old things is all that God has purposed for your life. There are things that God wants to be done in your life before he rapture you. He wants you to speak to some difficult things. Mountains and trees. Things that are rooted come up out of the roots. When God is on your side, I said he can deliver and he will deliver. Hallelujah. It's getting better all the time. Don't let no devil make you think that it's not getting better. God's working behind the scene. And before you know it, it's going to be done. Shout hallelujah. 
You can't believe God without getting a return. Your whole situation is about to turn around. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're not going to doubt the Lord. We're not going to doubt you, Jesus. You love us too much. You paid too much for it. And so we're going to believe it and receive it. You promised it and it's coming to pass. You said all your promises are yay. And in you, amen. So whatever you said is coming to pass. Clap your hands and shout yes. It's coming to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus having spoken on my behalf. His word has gone out of his mouth and it will not return void. It shall accomplish whereunto he was sending. God has spoken on your behalf. On my behalf. It's coming to pass. I got to believe him. When I believe him, he will perform it. He will perform it. He will perform it. Hallelujah. His word will not return boy. Hallelujah. Thank you for what Jesus. Matthew 17, 20, the Bible says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, glory to God. If I can but believe God. Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith, just a little bit of faith. As a grain of mustard seed. Believe me just a little bit. Hallelujah. I want you to have it so bad. Believe me just a little. You, you don't have to have a whole lot of faith. Because I purpose this. And if you can come up with just a little faith. If you can have just a mustard seed faith. I'll do this thing. Everything I promised you. Come on and let's get what God got for us. He promised healing for the body. Oh, God, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Blessings for our coming and our going. He is going to grant what he promised to do. It's coming to pass, saints. Mustard seed face. You shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder's place, and it shall remove, and nothing and nothing shall be impossible unto you, regardless of what it is. Move back. I'm coming through. Hallelujah. I'm coming through. Hallelujah. I don't care how difficult it is, but I'm coming through. Paul said, I'm pressing. I'm pressing toward the mark for the prize. I'm pressing. How many folks are pressing in here? I heard what he said, and I'm pressing. I got to give attention to what God is saying. I got to understand that God is talking to me. He want to take me where I haven't been yet. He want to give me joy that I hadn't felt yet. He want to give me insight that I hadn't seen yet. He want to bless me going and coming. He want to overtake me with the blessing. He want healing for my body. Thank you, hallelujah. He's a good God. Come on, saints, and let's go. Come on, let's believe God.
Come on, let's know that it's right here. Hallelujah. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Jesus said, I love you too much. And I can't lie. I never told a lie in my life. Hallelujah. And he is the best thing. And he's just as good as he can be. And he owns everything. Cal upon a thousand years belong to mine. The earth is mine. And the fool is there at all. I don't have to call the bank. I can just speak to the banker. <laughs> Whatever you need, I shall supply. Thank God for the faithfulness of God. He's going to do what he said. If you believe it, shout yes. Glory to God. And nothing shall be impossible. Well, what do you mean by that, Lord? Are you talking to me? You, you're talking to me. <laughs> it's amazing. But you know, the problem is we don't want to get that close to God. The key is how close I am to God. I want to be with him today, but not tomorrow. I want to spend some time with him, you know, when I have something special. But I don't want you to infringe upon my you know, my time. You know, if Satan look up and see you coming, and if you're close enough to the Lord, you start moving anyhow. <laughs> Haven't you heard folks say, I knew you would say, there's something about you that folks know that Jesus is with you. And the closer you get, the more he is manifested. And the devil knows him from afar. He has been knowing him for ages. He knows his walk. He knows his no, you don't have a swag, but he knows his walk. <laughs> he, he knows how he walk. He knows how he talk. The devil is very familiar with God. Sound hallelujah. And when you come in there with the Lord, I said when you come in there with Jesus, everybody has to take notice. Jesus is in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Saints of the Most High, this is our best year. The Lord is giving us tailwind. We're going to go down the runway. We're about to take off in Jesus' name. We're about to uh, praise the Lord to reach our destinies, our destination. God wants us to be there. All things belong to you. Everything that he wants you to have before the rapture. That's the all things that we are alluding to. There are things belong to you. And the Lord said, you shall have them. Hallelujah. You're going to get them before the Lord raptures you. Hallelujah. We are moving in that direction. I said we're moving in that direction. Thank you, Jesus. I bless his name. We are moving in that direction. We are moving and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it this kind? 
goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. There are some situations we're going to have to go to the Lord. You know what prayer is all about is conversating with the Lord. It's a dialogue. Give you strategy. He tell you when. Tell you how. Give you everything you need. But we don't like praying too much. We don't have time for that. But someone say you don't have time not to pray. We need to pray to connect with God to get God's direction as to what, how, and when he wants us to do this thing. Hallelujah. But it's going to take faith. And the Lord would prefer that we will not come into desperate situations in order to come to him. There ought to be enough love, ought to be enough said about him concerning us that I want to be with him. But desperation sometimes, calling folks all over time, pray for me. But we don't, have to wait that long. We can realize he's in love with me. He'll do this thing for me. But there was a desperate situation. A woman who had an issue of blood. a long time, 12 years, and she had tried her doctors, and the more she went to the doctor, seemed like the worse she got, but she had heard about Jesus. We got to tell somebody about Jesus. Whether the situation is desperate or not, we got to tell somebody. And you don't tell people like, have you heard about Jesus? <laughs> have you heard about Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody got to her. And the Bible said, according to Luke 8, 43, he said, and the woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, that spent all of her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. Lord, I thank you. Came behind him, touched both of his garment, and immediately, immediately, a issue of blood was staunched. Jesus is the caring, loving, and delivering God. I don't care what your situation is. I believe he's a deliverer. He left this in the canonical scriptures so we can see that he's a good God. He healed people without them even praying. It's what they thought about him. He healed people because they believe 
that Peter was one of his servants. And he let the shattered heal folks. Hallelujah. When you start believing God, when you start believing God, you don't only come to just worship and praise the Lord, but you come for an open heart, whatever your will is today, Lord. You know my situation. You know my struggle. And God just started fixing things. Isn't it amazing that the Lord just let this woman be healed because of her faith? He said her faith had made her whole. She believed what God said. Somebody had really schooled her that this Jesus, <laughs> hallelujah, this Jesus, <laughs> hallelujah, we need to be schooled that this Jesus can set you free. Glory to God, hallelujah. She didn't even, she didn't even pray, but she just said, if I, if I, if I, if I, I could just touch his clothes, if I could just touch his clothes, If I could just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. I just know I'll be made whole. I know I'll be made whole. Somebody always said, if I can get to church today, the Lord has already blessed you to get here. Now what you gonna do about it? I'm gonna touch I'm gonna touch him today in the Holy Ghost. The Lord is in this house. If he's in the house, go ahead and touch him. He's over there where you are. He's in your pew. He's over here. He's over there. He's everywhere. Touch him. 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 The Lord said, Go in peace, daughter. She could have been scold for what she did. But there are things that just override our mistakes. But when we believe, God for our deliverance. And this is what God is all about. He's all about making our lives better. Healing our mind, our thoughts. He wants us to live a fruitful life. He wants us to have peace that passes all understanding. Girding our minds, keeping us focused, enjoying life, living, not just existing, living. I'm not talking about money, cars, and houses, but living. Hallelujah. You don't have to have that to live. All you need is Jesus. He is joy unspeakable and full of glory. If you got Jesus, shout yes. If you got Jesus, shout yes. If you got Jesus, shout yes. I got him, I got him. I got the best thing in the world. I got all I need. All I need is Jesus. I'm going to leave this with you. God is pushing us forward toward all things, all things, all things. 
that brings you to a finished product before you are raptured. All things. Let me say this. Let him finish you. The Holy Ghost was not designed to, f to be the end. It was the beginning. So he is taking you to all things that pertain to your fullness. When you have these returning situations in your life, God will block that. He'll shut it down. <laughs> you can go to bed happy and get up happy. You can be excited about life when stuff all around you is falling down. Some of the most precious things that you have is gone. Common things now, natural things that will not affect it will not take away from the life, the joy the Lord gave you. He said, this joy, no man take from you. You live triumphant. Thank God. We want our children to be saved. And the Lord wants them saved too. We must have an attitude that nothing is important as your salvation. I want you educated, but nothing is as important as your salvation. Your children need to feel it, see it, and teach it. Because when God is on it, when God is believed, when God is accepted as your life, when you see God as your life, he is my life. So much clutter can blind our view of God. Satan is pushing stuff for us to believe this is what life is all about. And he keep pushing stuff. But we must not allow anything to blind our view of the one who is my life. All things can be obtained when we believe and trust God. This last scripture in 1 John 5 and 14, what he says, this is the confidence yes. that we have in him. Yes. 
that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. I need to have enough confidence in God that I can't even whisper without him hearing me. <laughs> hey, Sakamaya. Yeah. Oh, bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything, anything, saints, anything, anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire from him. The Bible lets us know you need confidence in God. If you don't have no confidence, don't expect what we are saying today is going to come to pass. But I believe, I believe he wants me to have all things. All things that brings me to my preparation for rapture. There's some things God wants to show the world in you before he take you out of the world. Isn't that a blessing, y'all? Lord, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank God. But the Bible said, this is what I want you to know. If you ask anything, hallelujah, according to his will, we know you hear us. You know God hear you? I'm not talking about you get up. Everybody said, well, I prayed this morning. I said my prayers, you know. But we have to pray to the point where God will move for us. I know I'm going to have to stop by now, but, but let me tell you something. If we trust God, he's going to do something. This is our year for great achievements, miracles. It's coming to pass. I said it's coming to pass. Come on, saints, and let's go. The Lord is taking us places. We are marching. We are journeying with him with the consciousness of his presence. God is taking us places. He wants us to know that if you ask anything, anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. Thank God for hearing us. If you believe God heard you when you got up this morning, praise the Lord, God made a way for you to hear. Now, since you're here, let's believe what he said, and let's receive what he said. Let's leave here blessed by God. He's going to do what he said. Can you shout hallelujah? Be like the woman when she said that if I could touch, the hill of his garments, I know. I'll be made whole now. The Lord got you in here now. What you gonna do with it? Come on, shout hallelujah. Paul, stand on your feet. Let's give him some praise. Give him some glory. Give him some praise. Hallelujah. He's taking us step by step moving us forward toward our old things you're going to be well the dawn when he pick you up out of here when he rapture you you would have reached all of which he purposed all of which he planned for your earthly life after you were filled with the Holy Ghost all things belong to you. All things 
Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of your son, I want to thank you, dear Lord, for declaring victory for us. Thank you for loving us so much so until you stop at nothing that we may be fully and completely adorned for representation bringing glory and honor unto your name. Dear Lord, we give you praise and glory. We walk with you. We journey with you. Take us to all things. Take us to all things. You have purpose for our lives. Do it and we'll give you praise. Do it and we'll give you glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we trust you for it. We trust you for it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so be it. In Jesus' name. Until next time, may God richly bless you. Is my prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If anyone in this house that are not filled with the Holy Ghost, I want you to do this for me right now. And because it, when you when you when you when you wait too long, it, you, you're not in the in the move of God. Yes. If there's someone who really wants a blessing from the Lord, come down this aisle and let the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, come down this aisle, one or the other, and let the Lord bless you. Come come right now. If if you wait, you see, then you. It, it loses the impact that God wanted to have. So if you're not filled and you want the Holy Ghost, or you want that miracle that God promised you, come now. Come right now and let the Lord grant you according to his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.